Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope that you are all well with the guests of Almighty Allah. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine by the mercy of Almighty Allah. Welcome to ANIFS Home School. This is Mizan Rahman, Assistant Director of Islamic Studies of National Delhi University School, Day Shift, Bona State, Dhaka. Today, I am about to take an Islamic Studies class for the students of Class 7. Our today's topic is Chapter 3, Lesson 1, Class 2, Discussion. Term Half Yearly 2021. Today's lecture number 14 and I will give you W which number will be 13. Okay, dear students, let's come to the board and listen. Chapter 3, Al-Quran and Hadith Studies. Dear students, we know that the chapter 3 is include about Al-Quran and Hadith Studies. This is the main topic of chapter 3. Al-Quran is the holy words of Almighty Allah. It is a special blessings of mankind blessings for mankind. On the other hand, all messages and activities performed by Hadrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are called Hadith. Dear students, this is the short definition of Al-Quran and short definition of Al-Hadith. Listen on, chapter 3, listen on. The Quran Majid. Al-Quran is the holy message of Almighty Allah. It is a special gift of Allah for mankind. Allah the Almighty said in the Holy Quran, وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ أَنْسَ اللَّهُ مُبَارَكٌ فَإِتَّبِعُوهُ وَاتَّقُوهُ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ Surah Al-Anam, verse number 155. Meaning of this verse, وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ أَنْسَ اللَّهُ مُبَارَكٌ This is kitab which is revealed myself. فَإِتَّبِعُوهُ وَاتَّقُوهُ So, follow this kitab and fear Allah. It may, be, uh, it may be impossible, it may be possible that you will be, uh, you will be kind from Almighty Allah. Surah Al-Anam, verse 155. Okay, Revelation of Al-Quran. Dear students, Revelation of Al-Quran is the very, very important from the, uh, about the Holy Quran. Allah revealed Al-Quran to our Living prophet, uh, loving prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Al Quran is well preserved in the Lohe Mahfuz. Dear students, we know that Lohe Mahfuz is the very very important uh, place which is uh, about Almighty Allah. And Allah also Almighty Allah Almighty said about the Lohe Mahfuz, Balhuwa Quran Majid fi Lohe Mahfuz. This is. This is the Quran Majid. It is preserved in the Lohe Mahfuz. Lohe Mahfuz means uh, specific places. Surah Al Baqarah, verse number 21 to 22. The Quran was first revealed from the Lohe Mahfuz to Baitul Hissa at the night of Laylatul Qadr. Dear students, Baitul Hissa is the specific place and dignified place from the first asman baitul isa allah almighty revealed surah uh, revealed wall quran majid from lohe mahfuz to baitul isa at the night of uh, laylatul qadr at the night of 27th ramadan then allah almighty revealed this surah from baitul isa day by day about 23 years to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Okay, now we'll start the responsibility for the preservation of Al Quran. Allah said in the Holy Quran, Inna alayna jamahu wa Qurana. Certainly, it is my responsibility to preserve it and to give you, O Muhammad, the ability to recite it. Surah Al Qiyama, verse number 17. In the other, another verses, Allah Almighty said in the Holy Quran, Inna nahnu nasalla dhikra wa inna lahu laha fizun. Surah Al Hijr, ayat number 9. Inna nahnu nasalla dhikra. Verily, we have revealed this Quran, wa inna lahu laha fizun. Or, and indeed, we have preserved it. Okay, now we start the preservation of the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran was first preserved through Hafiz, through, through Hibs. Hibs means memorize. 
okay dear students we know that hifz hifz is the very very important a uh, term of the islamic knowledge hifz means memorize any things and when any person hifz total quran from a to z this is called hafiz when hazrat jibril alayhi salam revealed al quran from almighty allah to the muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam memorized this surah or verses and he also ordered to his followers to uh, memorize this surah or verses by this way every muslim of that places of that times become hafiz of the holy quran by this way allah the almighty preserved the holy quran totally okay dear students now we we'll start completion of the holy quran the holy quran was descended to the lifetime of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a result it was not compiled compiled in the form of a book after death of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the holy quran was compiled we know that this is the very very long story about the complete completion of the holy quran when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam died from this earth then at the time of first caliph of islam hazrat abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu he stayed to uh, completion of the al quran first and the time of second khalifa uh, third khalifa of hazrat usman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu hazrat abu bakr uh, hazrat umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu gave him advice to completion of the holy quran then hazrat usman uh, hazrat usman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu start to completion of the holy quran by uh, katib bin wahi we know that there are 42 katib bin wahi and first and foremost katib bin wahi was hazrat zaid bin sabit radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu hazrat usman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu ordered to hazrat zaid bin sabit radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu to completion of the holy quran to collect by the collect of first copy of which is uh, preserved at the custody of hazrat hafs radhiyallahu ta'ala anha then he and his uh, his companion uh, complete total seven copies of the holy quran then first copies uh, returned to the hazrat ummul mu'min hazrat hafs radhiyallahu ta'ala anha and every copies uh, every copies sent to the every places of the state by this way compiled of the holy quran so it is called that hazrat usman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu is the compiler of the holy quran okay dear students now we we'll start chapter 3 lesson number 2 tasbih this is the very very short lesson tasbih tasbih is in arabic word it means to beautify or make something fine in islamic term it means to reciting the quran accurately and nicely allah the almighty said in the holy quran waratilil qur'ana tartila you recite the quran slowly and correctly surah al musammil verse number 4 this is the very very important verse about the recite of the holy quran according to the law of tasbih okay dear students now we start importance of tasbih we know that there are more important of tasbih because if any person recite the holy quran without tasbih then who will be sinner and if any person recite the holy quran in the salat without tasbih then his salat will not be acceptable accepted to almighty allah so it is very very important to tasbih rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about the importance of tasbih man qara harfan min kitabillah falahu bihi hasratun wal hasratu bi ashri amsaliha Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the hadith man qara harfan min kitabillah those who recite any word huruf or any one letter from the uh, kitab of almighty allah falahu bihi hasanatun then he will get the one virtue or one swaf wal hasanatu bi ashri amsaliha and this swaf or and this virtue as like as 10 virtue of others jami tirmizi in the another hadith come you recite quran it will recommend it the readers in the day of judgment so he muslim if any person recite the holy quran in this art then recommended al quran on the day of judgment about that person so it is very very important to recite the quran every day and regularly and another hadith also prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man qara harfan falahu ashru hasanat thumma man qala alif lam mim falahu thalasun hasana because there are three letters in this word alif lam mim alif is one letter and lam is one letter and mim is 
another letter. So total three letters, three into ten, total thirty versus. If any person recite only alif lam mim, then he will get thirty versus. And if any person recite Bismillahi Rahman Rahim, we know that this is it is this uh, this verse is also uh, verse of the Holy Quran. This is Bismillahi Rahman Rahim is also verse of the Holy Quran. And there are nineteen letters in this verse. So if any person recite Bismillahi Rahman Rahim, then he will get nineteen. Into ten total one hundred ninety swabs or verses. Okay, dear students. So as a Muslim, we have to recite Quran every day with tasbih and with the law of recitation of the Holy Quran. Okay, dear students. I hope that you have understood this topic clearly. Now I want to give H W on the basis of today's lecture. Today's H W number thirteen. Write any five informative sentence. One, chapter three, lesson number one plus two. Dear students, firstly you have to read this lesson number one, the Quran Majid, and lesson number two, Tasbih. Minimum three times read these two lesson. Then you have to write down five informative sentences. Any five informative sentences from lesson number one plus two. These two lessons from these two lessons. Okay, dear students, you have to do your assignment. Uh, you have to do your H W assigned H W on every uh, on the Uh, CW copy, HW copy, and submit your HW copy on every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Good day, students. I hope you are understood. Understood to your topic clearly. Keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. Stay well. See you again very soon, inshallah, with another topic. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah.